Hey everyone, welcome back to my studio. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a collab with Christina Welch, Brian from Spontaneous Creations by Brian, and Mona uh, from Art Flow by Mo. And the four of us have done collabs before, and we want to do another one. So here we are. I have a 14 by 14 canvas. I'm going to be using Brian's toy, which is a small. Uh, my camera's set up different because I'm still cleaning out my studio. Um, so hopefully I get all this in, in the frame. Uh, this is a small petal pour uh, open cup. It's open at the bottom. There's holes all the way around. Hopefully I'm showing you that. And then it spirals through the middle and comes out those holes. So what I plan on doing is... Uh, Using a smaller one on a 14 by 14, I probably could use the big one, but I'm using the little one because I want some negative space, and I might do, I might move it around, so I might do a couple in different places. I just want to see how it comes out first, but I am going to start out with it over here in this corner, kind of. So hopefully you guys can see that, all right? Um, all right. So shout out to these three that I'm collabing with. Uh, they have been wonderful to me. Um, they, Christina sent me the paint colors because we're, we wanted to use the same ones that she used in her Monday Night Live, to, I think two weeks ago. I think I missed last Monday nights because I was not home. Uh, so those colors are her Parage Posse paints and they are Moody Blue Shimmer, Juniper Shimmer, Champagne Shimmer, Heirloom Rose Shimmer, and Antique Copper, which is also a shimmer, metallic. So, well, the champagne and the copper are metallics. Well, they're, anyhow, they all, they all have metallic shimmer in them. Uh, she sent me those so that I could have them all, just a little, like little cups for me. And Mona paid for my shipping. So, thank you, thank you, thank you, you guys. That was very sweet of you. And, um... I got the toy from Brian. So they're all taking care of me in their own way, which is sweet. Uh, so today um, I'm going to be using, a, I wanted to use the Moody Blue as a base, but I, did, I also wanted to use it in the cup. So there wasn't enough to do both. Uh, so I made up my own background color, which is a mixture of uh, Prussian Blue and Payne's Gray. And then I added some Iridescent Shimmer by Artist Loft. Oops, sorry, I'm dropping stuff. Uh, just to give it a shimmer. So it's pretty close to the Moody Blue. I still think Moody Blue is prettier, but this is just for the base anyway. And I needed to get some lights on on the subject. I don't have any lights on. So hopefully that will work. Like I said, my studio is kind of a mess right now. In the middle of redoing it. So I've got stuff everywhere, but I wanted to do this collab with them. Also, I wanted to mention, I don't know if you guys noticed, I'll talk while I'm pouring my base down. Um, last week I posted on Saturday. I'm going to move my days around a little bit to Saturdays uh, because I think I get more people that are on and, and on the Facebook pages on those days. So if you're looking for me, hopefully you have my the bell tapped um, so you get my notifications. If you don't, just go back in and uh, do that. You can unsubscribe and resubscribe and then it'll ask you how you want your notifications and you can just tap on the bell and it'll give you an option if you if you've already been a subscriber for a while all right so I got that covered I don't want to have too much of this base on here so uh, it's still running a little bit I can see it running so I'm gonna get a little bit more of it off the consistency of my paint is for my base is pretty runny. I don't want to see a mound in, in the cup when I lift that stick up. 
So I just want it there for the paint to, there goes the other two cups, <laughs> to flow off of. So it's pretty ready. It's like melted ice cream, Christina says. Okay. So that was my Prussian blue and paint spray mix. This air doesn't need it. Some of those bubbles out of there. I just mixed these paints, so uh, there's probably going to be a lot of air bubbles in this. My ratio is equal parts of glue wall to paint. Elmer's glue wall, mix that up. And then I put whatever that amount is, like so let's say if it was two ounces, two ounces, so it's four ounces. Then I put four ounces of Floetrol, and then I thin it to the desired consistency that I want for the pour. If I want a thicker paint, then I don't, then I don't add the Floetrol water to it. All right, so I'm going to start with the juniper. And I have learned that there's holes um, up top here. So if you just pour in this opening, you're not going to get the paint to go out all the holes. You have to, you have to start up here. Okay, and then the moody blue. And then the champagne. I have these set up in this order, uh, light, dark, light, dark. So I'll get some contrast. This is the antique copper, which I love. They look purple. I have another one that's the Treasure Gold Collection by Folk Art, I believe. And it also looks purple. And this is the Heirloom Rose, which I love. I put all these in bottles because they'll be easier to maneuver. When you're pouring through to toys like this, it's easier to have them in bottles. I get my bottles at Sam's Club online. And I think they're $6 for 12 of them. So I order 24 at a time. And they will ship to your house. And uh, yeah, it's a good deal. So I don't want the, the heirloom pink and the juniper to be together um, on top of each other because I want to go light, dark, light, dark. So I'm going to add a little bit of the moody blue in between those two. And then I'll start over with the juniper. And I can see that juniper is very strong. The pink is starting to come through and a little bit of the antique copper. And then, let's see, then we've got the gold, or not gold, it's champagne. And then the antique copper. I love these spiral cups that Brian has. I've done quite a few pours with them. And uh, the way the paint flows out of them, you just get a really cool effect. I wouldn't say you get a, a good flower out of them, uh, but you definitely get petal-like shapes that come out. So, and I've got a few holes in this one that are not flowing, but I don't know why unless I'm not getting the paint out of it. Let me see if I... No, that one's down there somewhere. I can't see it's clogged with paint because I've never used this one before. But it doesn't matter. You still get a really pretty design. And I've got my skewer and I've got my balloon standing by because <laughs> I might want to uh, 
wreck these a little bit. We'll see. Or use the balloon at the end. Okay, I'm going to move this over. And I'm going to do another little one in the corner over there. Going with the nudie blue. Back to the juniper. Nudie blue again. Champagne. Anti copper. And the heirloom rose. So there are a couple different things you can do with the center when you pull the cup off. If you don't get a good, a pretty center that you like, you can go in with your skewer. I usually use the blunt end when I'm doing stuff like this and I keep my towel handy. And I'm just going to go in and create a flower. in the center of that, voila. I still may dip it, uh, but we'll see. I'm just letting that pour out of there. I think I might go in with some more. The champagne is not coming through very much. So I wanna just get a little bit more in there. Was dripping off the edge too much so I'm just holding up the canvas so that it runs back the other way center was a little bit different. It's going to swirl it a little bit. Okay, let's move this around. Um, I think I want to torch it first. So my pretty flower I had in the center got a little messed up, so uh, that is typical when you stretch. So I'm going to go in, I think I'm going to use my big balloon. Pink and see what we get. My balloon has deflated a little bit, so I'm really grabbing it tight just to get a tightness on the bottom. And I'm just going to I need to make sure that you guys can see this. Alright, it's gonna dip into that pink there. Just down and up. Still too 
too much paint. Just using my straw to blow out some of these harder edges. crazy about that uh, balloon smash there. I wonder if I add some more. Get some more of this. I want to get some more of this in there too. I'm going to want to do a line through here too. Get some more of that pretty champagne color going on in there. I'm going to put some pink on my balloon. Give it a little roll. That was pretty. I'm going to use the paint on the balloon, which is really pretty. And I'm just going to go again down that way. I didn't get any of that pink in there. I love when that, when the pink and the champagne mix, they're very pretty together. I love how that broke up that edge there a little bit too. I'm just going to do one little one here. Trying, I'm sorry I'm not talking. I'm trying to think about where I want to go. This is looking pretty, but there isn't any other balloon rolls anywhere else. So I'm thinking I need to add something somewhere, but <laughs> I know where. Because I like the rest of it. Maybe it does. Maybe I don't need to. When I'm looking at it this way, which is probably how I would hang it from, from this way, I'll, I'll turn it so you guys can see. Um, I like everything that's going on right now, so I think I'm probably just going to leave it there and try to keep my hands off of it, because you know how that hard that is for me. But I got some, I've got some really pretty stuff going on, so let me uh, get my gloves off and take you guys down for a close-up, and I'll show you which orientation I'm thinking. can't get my glove off. Hey guys. Okay, here we go for the close-up. Uh, I lied. I went back in and did some work on this. I uh, wanted to add some more balloon rolls. 
the balloon rolls here didn't have enough definition, so I went back and did them again. Um, sorry I don't film all of that, but it just would be too long of a video if I did. So you guys get the gist. Added balloon rolls there. Swirled around with my skewer, I added more gold. These were just the cells, and uh, so I did a balloon roll, and then I just went through with my skewer and broke them up a little bit. They look like little tiny fairy flowers, don't they? All right, so, and I think more orientation, because I put the balloon rolls in the bottom, it, it looks good with this orientation now, but you could do it either way. I, I kind of liked it this way too. So whoever buys it, if somebody buys it, they can hang it the way they want to. It's a cool thing about abstract art. So anyhow, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, please go watch the other videos of the other three, Mo, Christina, and Brian. I will put their links in my drop-down description box for you. And uh, also, Christina Welch's paint you can get on Etsy. I will try to get her link for that also and Brian's toys and he has a big old long name for this toy <laughs> but I just shorten it to spiral petal open cup so it's, it's it's along those lines you'll be able to find it in his description or in his link uh, so I will leave all those for you guys um, please go and hit the bell if you're not getting my videos every week um, I have over a thousand subscribers now and I'm only getting about a hundred views every week so I know a lot of you are not getting notified. Uh, well, if you're here, you're getting notified. <laughs> Probably because you're one of the hundred. But anyhow, uh, if you're not and you're new to my channel and you're from um, one of the other artists that have come to visit, please uh, do that for me. I would really appreciate it. And I will keep doing videos for you guys. It's really fun. So take care. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.